Uh, real quick before we get into this, if you lot aren't already, which I'm willing to bet you're not, uh, consider subscribing if you want to anyway. We're like just about to hit 15k, I think like 100 subs off, uh, which is sick. So yeah, I'd appreciate it a lot. And let's get into this. Uh, I just tried to record this video. Um, I queued a game, I got King's Pass, I left, obviously. Um, so, you know, I restarted recording and I got King's Pass again, which is such a bad omen, man. Like, this might just, uh, I might die or have a, like a heart attack during this recording or something. That is such bad luck. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I could never play a game on King's Pass. You might ask, you know, why I have it unbanned in the first place, but I thought, you know, I'd be big brain and, you know, I'd uh, unban King's Pass because I thought most people you had brains would also have it unbanned or sorry, would also have it banned. Um, so effectively, I'd have like an extra an extra ban. So I banned Black Card Keep, um, but but no, fam. Apparently, apparently everyone loves King's Pass or something because no one has it banned, which is like, I don't even know why it's a map. If you actually look at that map, or you look at like a lot of maps actually, it really makes you question just what went through their heads when 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 making it, designing it. It's, I don't know. The fact it was also at one point a tournament legal map, is quite impressive. Um, but yeah, down. Oh, <laughs> that was interesting. Anyway, yeah, uh, the, the whole point in the video I should probably get onto is uh, stage control. Because, um, yeah, in the like 1000th replay review video that I made yesterday, uh, I really need to relax on that. <laughs> I've made way too many, I feel like. But um, yeah, I was talking a bit in that about stage control. And I thought like for newer people, you know, like one, they don't think about stage control. And two, when they do think about it, they don't really know where to start. Uh, which makes sense because it's like, you know, I guess, I guess you know where to start, but you have like the wrong idea of it. Uh, which again, it makes sense because, you know, like it's a, it's, it's a weird concept or, you know, it seems like, you know, stage control is just sitting in the middle of the map, uh, which a lot of the time is the opposite of stage control. You're giving away control by doing that. Um, like there's a lot more to it. Uh, and I think, yeah, no one really talks about it, especially to like newer players. Um, it's not something, you know, you learn in guides. Like, there's no guides telling gold players to learn stage control. It's just telling them to learn combos and stuff. But I think it's something you can learn very early. And it's something you, you should learn. Because, you know, when I started learning it, and I started, like, focusing more on it, that's when I improved a lot, I feel like. Um, but, yeah, if you don't know what stage control is, basically, it's just trying to have as much control over the stage that you can. Because, like, in this game, it does down again. Wait, no way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like i was saying stage control basically just to like you know simplify it is trying to put yourself in as much of an advantageous spot that you can on the map like you know uh, relative to your opponent so for example um here is a very clear example of stage control like when your opponent is on the ledge like this you have full stage control like you control the stage they're the ones you have to fight to get back on the stage um and the reason I said, you know, stage control isn't just going to the middle of the map is because, and I'll try to show you an example again if he comes off stage. Uh, if he can't, he's not going to come off stage. But if I, you know, when he's on the wall, if I just run to the middle of the map, I'm just giving him, like, okay, right now, if I just run here, I've just given him control back. Like, you always have to apply pressure, uh, you know, to hold good stage control. Like here, uh, I would go off stage to apply pressure. Uh, once again, I can stay around here a bit of pressure at Sir when he tries to come back up. Um, like, you know, you don't just want to sit here in the middle of the map be like, okay, the stage is mine. Because then he's just going to get back up. All the, like, you know, advantage that you've pushed is then gone. In? Okay, that was, that was quite depressing. Um, but yeah, you see what I'm trying to say, hopefully, right? Like, you want to basically push your opponent and, and make it so he's always uncomfortable on the map. You never want to, you know, make him feel comfortable. Like here, uh, I have stage control because the weapon is there, right? Uh, he has to fight around me to get it. And, you know, when you're making your opponent try to do something, if that makes sense, like, for example, if he's above me and he's trying to land, he's trying to land. Like, the only thing he gets out of trying to land is being able to land, if that makes sense. Like, if he's up here, uh, I've hit him with, like, a recovery or something, and I'm just, like, you know, sitting underneath him, waiting for him to land. You know, what I... I I can't speak. What I get out of that, sorry, is, you know, say if he makes a mistake while trying to do that, I get a big punish, right? Say if he uses his dodge, for example, when he's trying to land and I catch his dodge, then, you know, I get a lot of reward out of that. Because um, I get, like, you know, five hits on Katars. 
because we're playing experimental, unfortunately. Um, or for example, say on like hammer, right? If I caught a landing with a with a D light on hammer, which is uh, something like a lot of good hammer players will, will be very good at, actually. Um, I get a stomp surf for free, or I, I basically I'm just getting damage. If not damage, then I get a kill if they're at like you know kill percent. Um, so yeah, like here for example, he's trying to land. He used his dodge. <laughs> I thought I caught his dodge, but apparently then I didn't last long enough. Uh, but you see what I'm trying to say. Right there, he had to land. Only thing he got out of that was being able to land. I potentially had a free kill, right? Or if not free kill, a lot of damage. Uh, that's just one example though. Another example would be um, like here, he has to land. Hopefully, there we go. And I caught his landing with a D-Light. But yeah, like even though I wasn't in, you know, like the middle of the stage there, I was still holding good stage control. Which is why I think it's like really important to to get the idea that good stage control is being in the middle of the stage out of your head. Because it's not. A lot of the time, it's literally not. Uh, sometimes you're even putting yourself at a disadvantage by trying to be in the middle of the stage. Um, you know, like I said, you can just be letting your opponents land for free. If instead there, I just decided, okay, I want to be in the middle of the stage. I wouldn't have caught that deal. Like, I wouldn't have won the game. I wouldn't have killed. Uh, another example would be like if I'm just letting my opponent you know get back to stage like this oh, i need to be in the middle yeah it's okay well it worked there for some reason but uh you know what i'm trying to say right like it, that that's not good stage control even though you might think it is or it might like seem that way um a lot of the time it's not you kind of need to adapt stage control and and pressure them at all times and a lot of the time being in the middle is the best way to pressure them but a lot of the times being in the middle is it does the exact opposite right um, like the reason you would want to be in the middle of the map is so that you can push them over to the edge like here You know, I was in the middle. He started like approaching me He pushed me over to the edge and gave stage control himself here Like I pushed him over to the edge like that, you know, he was scared of the side like so he had to like run backwards uh, And when you run backwards like if I'm in the middle here I have a lot of space to run back and avoid that side stick But if he gets closer to me now I've run out of space to run back and I'm on the edge and he gets an edge guard attempt right for free and he also gets the ledge guard me for free. Like this is what stage control does. And like a lot of people don't realize it because it doesn't go through their heads that like this is why I'm in this position. Uh, it's because I lost stage control like a couple of times. But that is the reason, right? Like people will spend the entire game in disadvantage and not even know it because they don't understand the concept of stage control. Um, he's dead here. I lied. I am awful. Uh, also Katars on this map. This is another map that just needs removing from the pool. This this was in torn when I started playing Brahalla, I remember watching a sandstorm boomy set on this map. Like this used to be in tournament and it wasn't even that long ago. Which is like that's so disgusting to think about. Um But yeah, so I hope that explains like why you'd want to be in the middle. It's not so that you can just be in the middle of the stage for clout. Uh it's so that you know you can actually do something with it and you can push your opponent off to the edge. Also being in the middle will give you more control over weapon spawns as well. Because, uh, like, they're pretty much RNG. Um, I think they try and favor whoever is unarmed. Um, but a lot of the time, like, you know, if you're in the middle, uh, then you'll have, see, like that, y you can kind of react quicker. Or you have the most chance, sorry, I guess, of uh, catching the weapon spawn um, and being able to take it from them and staff, which is just another form of control and advantage state on its own. So, you know, you have, like, two forms of advantage state. Does this kill? Barely. But yeah, just to like reinforce the whole concept of it, I, I, I'm gonna cry. I would have thought that like by the time brothers were in plat, they'd realize, you know, King's Pass is a shit map and have it banned, but I guess not. Like, he literally had a plat border, I expected better, man. Unless, obviously, he's trying to game the system like me, then he has my respect, I guess. Or I guess not, because he's kind of, kind of hurting my, my whole, my whole, um, my whole plan. Uh, oh, okay, that was close. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, to like reinforce the concept, because Obviously, I've talked about this exact same thing and like, you know, I'm basically going to be repeating myself. Um, but yeah, I talked about this in the, in the, the context of trying to land. Um, but if you're trying to get back onto stage like this, right now, he's in full advantage. All I have to gain... Uh, okay. <laughs> I lied. All I have to gain is, is, is breaking someone's mental and making them run off the map. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I was trying to say, uh, just to reinforce the idea of it, because um, I've talked about this in the context of like if your opponent's above you and you're trying to catch landings but if I'm off stage right I'm on the wall like the only thing I have to gain is to make the game even at best 
um you know control wise anyway because you know if i'm here like all i can do is fight to get back on stage he on the other hand has such easy advantage uh oh i guess he has such easy like opportunity uh to hit me and, and to get like little ledge guards like say if he's using sword for example I i'm sure you lot have played against a sword player who is just seemingly impossible to get back on stage against right uh and they hit you with like a million end lights as you're trying to get back to stage uh, if you try and go high above them they'll recover or something or near you um you know if you try and like go around them like this they'll just near you uh etc etc right or they'll like delight you over the edge and and, and delight sir and kill you like it's kind of hard to get back on stage against weapons like sword uh and i think that's because sword is like one of the best weapons at taking advantage of that advantage state if that makes sense because it's like you know th that's the reason you're in advantage state you know that's why it's an advantage is because it's so easy to ledge guard like that you know i didn't have the opportunity to do that ground pound the only thing i have the opportunity for is to try and get back on stage uh, and like i said if i get back on stage even then i don't have full control like i have a bit more control i have a bit more of an advantage but i'm still ultimately at this advantage because it's like wait that's death should be yeah because uh, like from here i don't get much out of it compared to how, like what he gets out of it if that makes sense like i feel like i, I can't really explain it properly because it's like a weird concept to explain but it's also not but i, I don't know hopefully you lot understand um yeah it, th that's why it's an advantage is what i'm trying to say it's because of like all the potential that he gets out of me being in that position um compared to what i get out of being in that position uh and i'm gonna stop because i feel like i'm gonna in an infinite loop of the <laughs> of explaining the same thing uh but yeah that's just like another thing um i guess other examples of stage control would be like i don't know i think i've gone over like the majority of them to be honest um but yeah you can definitely make those disadvantage states like less of a disadvantage like weapons like blasters for example can like sit and stall uh on the edge and you know stage control isn't something that you should aim to have the whole game because it's literally impossible it switches up so quickly um but like you, you should focus on it i think you should realize when you're in disadvantage what that disadvantage state means for you uh how to get out of it uh and you should also definitely realize when you're in advantage and what that means for you too um like here there you know that was another example of him like just trying to land uh which is a very good advantage state for me that's death yeah uh, and it meant i could catch him with an end light uh, and then i read the dodge into ensig um okay <laughs> i don't know what just happened and then he nared him into the bomb that would have been intentional trust me uh but yeah here again trying to catch the landing he managed to you know uh, reverse it all and just like that like i said it's that easy to reverse stage control took one scythe there and he reversed it uh scythe also by the way is an amazing weapon at it because of active input like even if you hit someone in disadvantage you can turn it into advantage straight away by turning around with like you know nair like here for example if he hit in there uh I'm t i was trying to like bait him into doing in there so i could show it off um but if, say okay even if they're on the wall uh as a scythe player and you've definitely been hit by this multiple times in your life um and they do like a scythe in there and they turn it around uh, and they, you know bring you off stage you know they've just turned disadvantage into advantage into a big advantage as well like no other weapon really can do that like there's a few sigs that can but for the most part you know no other weapon can can really do that um so yeah like that's just an example in in scythe's case uh i kind of want katars to kill here i i really don't know why i think just like and like ensig is pretty free to hit uh, also it's experimental so if he uses a dodge at any point uh like there okay that was horrible i don't know why i went for that um but yeah here see like there i didn't just stay on stage i went off stage to pressure him but yeah, like, like notice how I didn't give away stage control going off stage. I still stayed in like a like a relatively safe position. I just tried to stay above him, which is just pushing the advantage state even more, like even further, right? And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to push the advantage state more and more and more until you, they're just dead, which is what happened there. Like obviously, say for example, you both start in the middle of the stage. Uh, you threaten them with hitboxes or you even hit them and then you push them to the edge. Uh, and then you know you threaten them again so they have nowhere to go say they hop off stage themselves then they're on the wall this is like double disadvantage now right uh then you get like a little edge guard um which is you know what you get that's your reward for 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 you know maintaining good stage control and everything uh you get a little edge guard you get like a satellite sir on bosses something like that do you like sir 
um, then, right, you, you push the advantage even further. You get like a quadruple advantage. Uh, and you go and you chase them out. And you stay above them, just like that. Uh, and you push the advantage, like I, like I said, just even further. Uh, then they're dead. And I know he didn't die in that example, but like, I probably could have uh, killed there if I wasn't arse. Um, but yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Like, there's many different ways you can push the advantage state without just throwing away control. Uh, whereas, say, if I just stopped uh, in that, like, hy like hypothetical uh, scenario or whatever. Say if I just stopped after, you know, we were both in the middle and then I pushed him over to the edge and then I just went back to the middle of the stage. I'm missing out on this the other, like, 10 states of, of uh, disadvantage, right? And, like, obviously this isn't the way to think about stage control, but, like, this is the way I think about it. Um, and you should probably form, like, your own way of thinking about it, but... Uh, I think this way makes sense. You just kind of have to like, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say you kind of have to understand what I'm saying. But obviously, that's, yeah. I, I, I don't know, but you see what I'm trying to say, right? Also, also like, uh, Lucian Saitik from losses is a thing that can just completely reverse uh, disadvantage state. If you manage to hit one like that, like, <laughs> he just went from having full advantage to dead. Um, I lied, he's still alive. That's the that's the two force in full effect. I, I don't know how he didn't touch there, if I'm honest with you. Um, but yeah, hopefully you do see what I'm trying to say. I think I've said that about 10 different times this video, but it's hard to explain. Uh, but yeah, like basically, you just always want to be an advantage. And you always want to push it, but without just giving away control. Like if you just go and do something risky off stage, you're just going to end up giving away control so easily. Um, like if I push him to the wall here, hopefully he goes to the wall. Um, and I just go, okay, ground pound. Okay, well it hit. But I go, okay, ground pound. I go again. I've lost control. I've given away like two steps of stage control. If you are thinking about it like that. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I honestly, I'm going to draw like a... <laughs> I might have to go and MS Paint. Launch up the MS Paint and draw like a little flow chart. <laughs> stage control. Um, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But... Hopefully, I've helped in some horrible, like, type of badly explained way. I don't know. Uh, if it did, you know, make sense, then good. <laughs> That's what I aim to do. If not, uh, I, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll make, like, a, like a full-on guide about it instead of, you know, like a gameplay video, commentary video type thing. Uh, let me know if you do want to see a stage control guide where I can probably go over it a bit better. But until then, or until tomorrow, I guess uh wait tomorrow is yeah no i won't be uploading this weekend because obviously tawny's are on uh so sorry about that um but yeah every other day of course still uploading if you do enjoy those uploads consider subscribing uh leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this one and uh yeah have a great few days peace